Okay, in this case, I am given a table. Okay, I'm given a table. Now I need to ask myself some questions in order for me to be able to write the equation. Okay, now the first question I'm gonna ask myself is, is it linear or exponential? And what I need to do is decide, how am I getting from row to row? So I'm gonna kind of observe the pattern. And what I notice, I think, hmm, how did I get from two to seven? Oh, well, like I added five. Oh, does that work from here? Like to seven, seven plus five, 12? Oh yeah, it is. Is negative three plus five, two? Oh yeah. So I'm adding five all the way through. So when I think, oh, I'm adding, I'm adding, that means this is gonna be linear, okay? Now what's the starting point, okay? The starting point is where x equals zero, right? This one, that's the starting point. So what's the starting point? The starting point is negative three. And what's the slope? Okay, because with linear, we have what's called a slope. So the slope is five, it's growing. The slope is five, it's growing by five. So when I write my equation, my y equals mx plus b, I'm simply writing y equals my slope times x and then my y-intercept, okay? Now, if you wanna pause the video right here, that would be good. I'm gonna do one more, but you should pause and try it first. Okay, so here, what do I notice? I notice, let's see, I'm going up by three and then up by six, so I'm not adding. What I'm doing is three times what is six? Oh, I'm multiplying by two. I'm multiplying by two. I'm multiplying by two, okay? Now, this is exponential because I'm multiplying. This is exponential because I'm multiplying. What's the starting point? The starting point is here. The starting point is where x equals zero, so the starting point is three, right? This is three. That's my starting point. What's the growth factor? Because with exponential, I use what's called a growth factor. And what it was, how much is it growing by each time? It's growing by two. So my equation looks like this. Y equals, okay, starting point times the growth factor to the power of x. Okay, so we use the same process here, decide if it's linear or exponential, and then follow the process.